worst time of year for your HVAC system to go out. But inevitably, it's the summer season that does seem to be when it happens. Plus those old systems, they have a negative effect on the environment. So here to help us out with some new eco-friendly options are Chris Thompson and Jake Hayslip from John C. Flood. Thank you both for being here. Thank I'm sure both. you're busy right now. Does it seem like right now is when you get the questions of, my air broke, broke. my AC broke, what should I do? Yeah, absolutely. Summer is our busiest time of year yeah. for sure. A lot of people just uh, out of sight, out of mind, as soon as it stops working mm -hmm. is when we get a lot of calls coming in for you know no ACs and us having to come out to do repairs or evaluations on people's systems. Yeah, does it start with how old the machine is when you, like how do we figure out how old it is first and then is that where you start the jumping off point of talking about maybe you need a new air conditioning system or HVAC system? Well, you can, most systems you can probably find a little tag somewhere on it or a serial number and you okay. can try to go on the internet and look a serial number up or make a model or go to the manufacturer's website and find mm -hmm. out the age of your system because once over 10 years old mm -hmm. that's when the efficiency in the system starts to be less efficient and less cooling yeah. and or heating. Mm -hmm. well, I think you're probably going to start feeling that soon too I think. Yeah <laughs> but it sounds like these older systems too they require a Freon called R22 that is mm -hmm. now not even being produced anymore so how expensive is it to fix an old air conditioner? Right depending on who you're using it can be a minimum of $150 a pound and some wow. of these systems take multiple pounds and it mm -hmm. comes to a point where how much do you want to dump into your 10 plus year old system before yeah. considering replacement you know it's point it's just not economical to do it that way we were told we're going through this currently as <laughs> right. I was telling you we were told you're just putting a bandage on mm -hmm, the problem right. you're not actually fixing it so That's is 10 correct. years kind of the life expectancy that you go off of or 10 to 15 what would you say to people that's kind of our flag is okay. 10 years you know wow. once a system gets to that point is when we start at least talking to people about it yeah. um, you know you might get more than that you could get up to 15 they certainly don't make them like they used to you're not getting Your 25 30 years out of a system system anymore. Um, yeah. So the 10 year mark for us is kind of our um, flag for at least our technicians to be talking to customers about considering upgrading to a more efficient option. Let's also talk about next year because it sounds like in 2023 three different new Puron refrigerant blends are coming to the market or what does that mean I guess? <laughs> well but same as your system R22 is no longer produced so yeah. Uh, Newer systems are going to require that newer Freon and starting 2023 mm -hmm. there are going to be three different new refrigerants coming out mm -hmm. and each wow. manufacturer like Carrier will have their own refrigerant and uh, wow. Lennox or any of the systems will have their own refrigerant systems so and um, will re require some of our technicians to have more than one canister on their truck on too hand. when they're going out so it'll make more wow. challenging for technicians and obviously people that have older systems it's going to be more trying to find any of the older R22 so they'll have to upgrade. Yeah. But will it be better for the environment? Sounds it like this is, new yes, Freon is. Much, right. Much. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason for the switch yeah. is um, trying to get it more environmentally friendly more um, mm -hmm. and more efficient. So right. it's yeah. a safety precaution for the earth. Yeah. Right. And also this minimum efficiency, it sounds like too, is being raised in the future. Is that next year as well? That or? will also be next year. Okay. So every five or six years, the minimum um, standard efficiency gets raised. So they want okay. to slowly push people towards putting in more efficient systems for their homes. Yeah. I just want it to be quieter right now. It goes <laughs> rear, rear. It's on its right. last leg, right. our air conditioning right. system. Thank you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And I know it's so many people are struggling with this in the heat. So if you are on the fence on whether or not to replace your HVAC system, head to johncflood.com for more information, or you can also make an appointment and get cool in your home again, especially right now it's hot.